Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another comic book haul. So yeah, in the vein of San Diego Comic Con that happened um, this weekend, and all the awesome trailers, I mean seriously, have you seen all the trailers that came out, and I reviewed most of them, Dead, um, I haven't reviewed the Deadpool one, and apparently that one's not going to be re released officially, so I think I'm just going to review it with a leaked version, but like the ones that have come out officially, Suicide Squad, Batman v Superman, the Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. Oh my gosh. The Flash one, that was... That one's a fucking disappointment. The Flash Season 2, that was a fucking disappointment. The trailer for that one. Um, I haven't seen the Fantastic Four one. And I know and I know for sure that one was released officially. Um, so yeah, I still need to watch it. And yeah, but in the vein of all that and San Diego Comic Con, I decided to get my comic books from my comic shop. Yep. Sad and pathetic, sure. But here we go. Um, so yeah, this time around, I picked up about... 10 comic books, I want to say. Most of them Walking Dead. Um, yeah, about half of them Walking Dead. Um, so let's just go through those. Um, let me just see if I can find them in order. Um, so yeah, okay. So starting off with issues, issue 141, we have Opportunity of the Walking Dead. Um, pretty cool cover there with Negan. Um, really do like it. That, that's actually a pretty cool cover. Um, here... Issues one for issue one forty two. Um, basically in this and this issue very quickly you have um uh, all the communities you have the saviors, Alexandriaites, Hilltop, and the Kingdom. They're all kind of just having a huge hodgepodge, a party get together at Alexandria, and they're all you know they're trying to be civilized again. And it's pretty, it's actually a pretty good issue, not to lie. And issue one forty three. I would have gotten issue one forty four, but they ran out. They like sold out, even on the pull list. Even for the people who have it on the pull list. It was like one of those things, like first come first serve. They didn't order enough because, they, yeah. If you guys know what happened in issue 144, I, I mean, I already know. I know what happens in these issues before I get them because Trev's Chan too to begin with, and the Walking Dead wiki, uh, um, Wikipedia page, not not the actual like Wikipedia, like Walking Dead Wikipedia, you no, know, like the actual wiki page, like Walking Dead dot wiki or whatever. Fuck it. Um, I like I usually search it up. I I don't care, but still, I always I don't like. I like spoiling myself, I guess you could say, but still, they ran out of issue 144. They ordered like 300, I believe they said, and they ha and they had they still had people who were who weren't who didn't get it. Normally they have like maybe a hundred extra. Here people were just like ordering it left and right. Um, so yeah, so I'm kind of sad I didn't get it. Hope they said they did make a second order. Um, so there's that. So hopefully I get it. Um, so yeah, and the worst thing is that's on my pull list, so fuck. Um, and so yeah, that's it for the Walking Dead issues. Um, yeah, now next up I got a couple Thor issues. Thor number 5 and number 8. So this is Thor number issue 8, 5, and this is Thor number 8. Now I know what happened in uh, issue 8. Um, this is the one where Thor is revealed, who, the identity is revealed. Who, no, who is Thor? Who? Um, it's his girlfriend, Jane Foster. Um, so yeah, that's cool. I just wanted it for that, for that much, you know, to see, um, who was actually Thor. Um, pretty good series. Uh, the reason I'm dropping it, though, is because it, it costs too much money. I mean, each issue is about, f what, five bucks? Four bucks? Yeah, three ninety nine. Um, so it's too expensive. I mean, you could say I'm being hypocritical, I guess, because how much is The Walking Dead? Three ninety nine as well? No, that's two ninety nine. so that's... Three dollars, but this one's four dollars. Thor is like four bucks. Um, so yeah, I mean it's the more expensive one. I mean, to some extent, I'm sad to drop it, but to another extent, I'm not really. It's like uh, it saves me money, I guess. But you know, it's kind of sad because that's a pretty good story. But you know, had to bite the bullet on this one. Just and to be fair, I just wanted to get up to the part where they reveal who Thor is. Um, not to be like racist or whatever you want to call it, like feminist. No. Um, sexist. Uh, not to be sexist. I mean, I was, uh, but I was only really looking up for the part. Like, I want, I didn't just want to buy the issue in which they revealed it. I wanted to buy all the issues up until the point they revealed it. And you know, I still wanted to pick it up afterwards, but I just couldn't spare the money. I couldn't, you know, couldn't get the extra money. Um, so yeah, but you know, I was <sighs> sad. You know, whatever. Um, next up, I got spread number. What is this? Eight, nine? Yeah, number eight. Um, pretty cool cover. I haven't read it yet, but this is a pretty cool cover. I'm, I'm assuming because I haven't read it yet. But I'm assuming this is the baby that we've seen for like the previous seven issues. 
um, No or Hope. No. No is the main character, Hope. Um, I'm, I'm assuming this is Hope. I haven't read it yet, so. Yeah. But still, pretty good. Um, yeah, damn. Um, Southern Bastards number 9. A pretty solid um, comic book series, in my opinion. Like, every four issues, because every four issues is a new story arc. In the, four, in the first four, you had um, the main character was Ulysses, I believe that's his name. Um, basically, he was the son of the officer who was there a couple years ago and that he was a pretty cool character and then they killed him off and then if, from issues like five to eight they focused on the guy who murdered him coach the co coach um coach boss or whatever and he was a pretty interesting character he was more of a like at first he was i thought he was just a complete douchebag especially after he killed the main character and uh, but then it turns out you know yes he's a douchebag but he's it's like more of an anti-hero you kind of see where he's coming from and now with with this issue it seems like we're gonna go with the main officer, the current officer, which is some black guy. Uh, that I mean, that came out racist, but it's actually some le legit is just like a this black officer. Um, uh, this is a pretty cool action scene right here. Um, yeah, he used to be a quarterback or a running back for the football team when he was in high school, and the boss, coach boss, didn't, you know, didn't like the fact that he was gonna go off to college, so he basically broke his legs and. Now he can't go to college, so now he's basically this guy's bitch. Um, yeah, this the boss is really, he's really critical. He's really um manipulative to say the least. Um, so yeah, it's pretty interesting. I like how like every four issues, I do like how every four issues they um switch it up to a new person, new character. But I forget the officer's name, officer's name. Um, next up, Sandman Overture, o over tour. Pretty good. I haven't read it yet, but I, I really love this. Um, it comes out once every two or three months. Um, kind of a shame, but at the same time, it's it, it's good. Um, because then I know when and when not to spend. Especially because it's like four bucks. Now you could say, you know, I should just drop this. But first off, this comes out. This is like, I think this is. If this isn't the last issue, it should it's either it ends between issues five, six, seven, or eight. I haven't checked, but I know it's a limited series. It's less than ten comics for this um series. Uh, so yeah, and also, it comes out like once every two or three months. Speaking of Suicide Squad, I got new Suicide Squad number nine. <laughs> Amazing cover in my opinion. I haven't read it yet, but yeah, speaking of Suicide Squad, I got Suicide Squad. Um, so yeah, that was my pickup for, for this week, um, or, yeah, weekend. Cause I, I, I like, no shit, I got it on su Sunday. Um, so yeah, that's my San Diego Comic Con, huh? Yeah, not really. I, I didn't pick any of these at my Comic Con. I mean, I live in Miami. It's nowhere near like San Diego. Um, my haul. Um, so yeah, I picked up what nine, ten comics. Um, yeah, cause you have Suicide, um, Sandman, Southern. Uh, you have Southern Bastards, Spread, Two Thor's, um, and like three Walking Dead. So that's three. So yes, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, nine. That's nine comics. Um, so yeah, what are your thoughts on this? I have read about. I have read The Walking Dead once, and I have read, uh, San, um, Southern Bastards, and uh, and aside from uh, aside from Southern Bastards and Walking Dead, I haven't really read any of the other issues. Um, so yeah, I want to binge watch, uh, binge read on Thor, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. And Maybe binge want and binge read a bit on Suicide Squad as well. Um, and while I'm at it, might as well do the same thing for Sandman. I mean, I really don't care. Um, so yeah, that's basically it for my haul this time around. Um, quick thing though, if you guys do remember, I do comic book haul um videos like comic book reviews. I think what I'm gonna start doing is because since I'm backed up on a shit ton of comic book reviews, I'm just gonna get like a bunch. Like for example, here for Walking Dead, I have three Walking Dead issues, and let's say I'm behind. I'm, I'm probably what I'm gonna start doing is just re like like review all three in one video, uh, saying you know in this story arc and this small story arc or whatever. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm just to get it past it. It's kind of annoying me having all my comics right there um, on my counter, um, kind of clutters it, and I just kind of want to get over with comic book reviews. Um, it's it's not mandatory, but I really want to do it. So like I just like give me my, giving my thoughts on it. And I feel like if I do it here in these videos, I think I'm going to take 
like a long time like saying like for example I thought this one had great artwork and writing but I thought this this and this like that cause of that and that and that you know if you guys see my comic book reviews TV reviews or even movie reviews you guys understand um, normally a, one, a single review will take about this long or less so yeah or maybe a little bit more depending on the movie TV show or comic um, so yeah might as well just bunch it all up and give it to you guys there Whatever, comment down below on your thoughts on that, whatever. This is my comic book haul for this day, this week, whatever. Comment down below on your thoughts on the comics. Um, if, did you guys go to San Diego Comic Con, if you did, and if you did, what did you guys pick up on um, there? And what did you guys think of the San Diego Comic Con trailers, you know, Suicide Squad, Batman v Superman, Fantastic Four, Daredevil, X-Men Apocalypse, The Fear of the Walking Dead, The, the Walking Dead, um, what else did they show, you know, what tra which one was your favorite? Which one was your favorite trailer that they showed there? Whether it's been leaked online or it's been shown officially online or whatever. Which one's your favorite trailer out there? And what are you most excited to see in the upcoming years? Um, really excited to see Batman v Superman, Suicide Squad. Now, um, kind of wish they would have shown something about Civil War, even set pictures. That would have been great. Uh, maybe a little bit on Doctor Strange. Set, picture set pictures on that. That would have been great. But you know, I see. I know they ha have a lot of stuff on their hands. So whatever. Yeah, so basically this is it for now. Subscribe. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews, as well as comic book hauls, poster hauls, mo uh, movie hauls, and all that good gist. Aside from that, comment down below your thoughts on the comics, um, and which one's your favorite San Diego Comic Con trailer that we we got this year. Like the video, share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.